Last week, we learned how movement in early life can really help your child at school. Today, it's all about sport. Hi, Bindi. Hi, Maritza. Today, we're going to look at how the right kind of movement experiences in the first five years of life can help set your child up not just for educational success, but also for sporting success. We are such a sporting society. I'm sure there's plenty of parents out there who want to learn more about this. Look, absolutely. As parents, we all want to give our children the opportunity to be the best that they can be and to thrive and to enjoy their lives. So when it comes to sport, we want our children to have the option to choose to excel at a specific sport or perhaps to be an all-rounder who can play and participate in a range of sports with skill and confidence. Now, whether they have this option or not will depend entirely on whether they've had the right movement experiences and enough of these movement experiences in their earliest years. As parents, we can actually make a dramatic difference to this outcome for our kids if we know what to do, which is what Jimbaru is all about. That sounds really important. How does it all work? Well, for babies and young children, movement is the key to learning. We're born to move and we're programmed to develop along a specific sequence of physical milestones. Now each of the movements in this normal, natural sequence of development are not only developing strength and tone in our children's big and small muscles, which is obviously so important for sport, but these movement experiences are also creating brain growth and that forms the foundations of later physical competence. So early movement experiences creates brain growth and helps us become good at sport. That's right. Each early movement experience sends messages to the child's brain about their body parts and how they can move. The more time the brain gets these messages through repetition of the movements, the stronger the neural connections become and the sooner the child will be able to do a movement all by themselves. These basic movements become the very important building blocks for more complicated movements later on. They become the foundation building blocks for learning. The stronger these foundation building blocks, the more coordinated a child will be. Can you give us an example about some of the activities at Jimbaroo encourage this type of learning? Absolutely. For example, what you're looking at here is crossover walking. Now that reinforces balance, body awareness, posture, coordination, all of which are the foundations of so many physical skills. Learning to control your body as it moves through space and the development of visual skills are critical for later sporting skills. Climbing helps develop muscle tone, strength and coordination. Have you got any standout stories of sporting success from Jimbaroo graduates? As Jimbaroo has been running for over 30 years now, there are hundreds of these stories. So many Jimbaroo babies have gone on to excel in their chosen sporting fields from gymnastics and dance to tennis, golf, athletics, swimming. I mean, the list is endless. One recent example comes from a top level FIFA qualified soccer coach who trains um, prodigy soccer stars in special squads and he's done this for years. Now he informed us that seven of his graduates had gone on to play for the European Premier League and six of those seven players were Jimbaroo graduates. He also went on to say that he could tell that even at the age of 15, when a candidate ran onto the field, if that player had been a Jimbaroo kid or not. Six out of seven. That is very compelling. Yeah, look, it's compelling and exciting. Uh, it's exciting for the future of our children. Over time, the babies and children who come along to Jimbaroo become fluid, smooth, strong and confident in a whole range of physical movements, setting them up for sporting success for the rest of their life. 